securing natural capital, resilience, risk management, and COVID-19. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the vulnerabilities of our globalized societies. As human activities expand deeper into forests and illegal global wildlife trade persists, we increase human exposure to wildlife and to the diseases they may carry. The disturbance and destruction of ecosystems degrade our planet's natural capital, resulting in biodiversity loss, which increases risks to human health and our economies. Natural forests decline by 6.5 million hectares, or an area larger than the UK, every year between 2010 and 2015. And natural wetlands decline by 35% between 1970 and 2015. Biodiversity loss has negative impacts on the economy, as half the world's total GDP and sectors such as farming, fisheries, forestry and tourism depend on nature and its services. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, fish and fish products accounted for up to 80% of GDP in small island developing states in the Pacific, and tourism accounted for over 20% in two-fifths of these countries. How is the COVID-19 pandemic reshaping the policy debate? What best practices are emerging? How can the global food system deliver the triple challenge to ensure food security for all, promote sustainable livelihoods, and use natural resources sustainably. What approaches can address both biodiversity and climate objectives? How can we measure progress and better mobilize finance in achieving these goals? Join the virtual discussion with government representatives, industry and thought leaders at the next OECD Green Growth and Sustainable Development Forum on securing natural capital, resilience, risk management, and COVID-19 from the 24th to the 26th of November, 2020.